me, creating my music, it, it's just something I hear in my head all the time. Um, and it's nothing that I think about of where it should go. It, I just let it flow. Like for an example, I'll just, if I'm sort of in the zone and I feel like playing, I'm inspired to play, or if I have an idea in my head, or I've just to kill time, to, uh, you never know. Sometimes if I'm in a bad mood, I realize that I haven't played in a while. Or if I get cranky or moody, and I'll just sit and play for a while, and I, it just completely chills me out. Uh, it's my outlet for uh, anything. It's like my own therapy. Kind of gets all those emotions out of you, so you don't keep them bottled up inside. It's just sit and play. So I can th sort of think about, it's like I'm doing all this stuff, but it's like, I, I, I sometimes I call it the, the matrix mode. It's like everything is happening really slow. Teaching is a big part of uh, what got me where I am as a guitar player because you have to know things and you have to figure things out that you may not normally listen to or want to learn. It's just like if you go to a gym and there's a personal trainer who gets you to do all these things that you don't want to do, but you need to go through those things to get where you want to go. It's essential to have a good guitar teacher. Someone who, there's a difference in someone who knows how to play guitar and someone who knows how to teach you how to play guitar. I've been teaching since I was, uh, I've been playing guitar since I was 13. I've been teaching since I, since I was 15. Yeah, and you know, a crazy story about my first student, Michael Andrews was his name, and I was 15, and he brings over a tape, Prong, beg to differ. He goes, hey, have you heard of this new band, Prong? And I, don't, I was like, I think I've seen the name. Yeah, you know, I heard of them, but I don't know them. He's like, I want to learn this song, beg to differ. I think that's kind of interesting that my first student, the first thing he brought me was Prong, and then later on I wound up playing in that band for you know, 10 years. Crazy how things work out if you pay attention to them. The instrument is just an extension of you. It all comes from in here. I've got a couple of instruments that have always been that go-to instrument. One of them is I've got a Wine Red Les Paul that I learned how to play on. I saw Ray LaMontagne play live. This is Ray's signature bourgeois. It's number three of 33 made. He's got number one, his manager's got number two, and I've got number three. And it's, I mean, you can just, that's just different from any other acoustic that you've ever heard. Yeah, it's not every, no matter what you play, it sounds good. This guitar right here, it's an ESP Eclipse. And I was telling, I did a photo shoot yesterday for my next album, and I was taking a picture with it, and I was just saying like how you can, I know this sounds very Spinal Tap when I'm telling you, but without being turned on, you can hear it. You know, I mean, for real though. You can hear what the notes are. Like I could almost play this guitar not even plugged in. Yeah. And some guitars, when you do that, it just sounds like a splatty. And you don't really hear what the notes are, but you can tell. You can hear, it's like it projects. And when I started playing these, it changed my playing. I started playing better because I think some of it could be the way, it play, the, way the guitar plays. It plays so easy that you know, like your hands just fall into place. And the sound is so good, it makes you you know, it makes, it leads your ear to want to keep playing and keep practicing. You want to get a guitar, like if you first start playing guitar, you want to get something that you're going to want to play. People ask me, like, what kind of guitar should I get? That, that's really up to you. 
you know, first see what you think looks cool and then just make some sounds on it or get someone to play it. If you like the sound, then that's what you need to go with. You know, I, I think for a kid getting an instrument for the first time, you want to have fun with it. Because that's the number one thing. It should be fun. But you also have to know how it works. So I think you should just play and make sound. Just play, find any note, right? And play that note. Okay, well, what if I go up one, no one more note? You write a song from that. You know, that, and that becomes your, you know, the part that you would use for your song. And then you just kind of have a collection of, you know, parts. This could be my verse, this could be my pre-chorus, this could be my chorus, this could be my bridge. And you always learn something from each situation. And from every gig you play, too. You always tell people, or like, you know, if a new guitar player moves into town, I'd, I'll say, if they say, you have any advice, I'll say, never t turn down a gig. Never say no to a gig, even if you don't like the kind of music. You're going to meet somebody, or you're going to learn something that that's going to benefit you later on.